Okay, so Leslie, is this, the, is this the religion you converted to that validates, justifies the killing of Ken Bigley in the context of other killings, or did you convert to another religion? I convert to the true Islam that is a peaceful, loving religion, welcoming to all, regardless of the religion and the background. And, and uh, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I'm here as an Irish Muslim, as a Muslim, as an Irish person, and I, I totally disagree with any, any form of terrorism. And I, I am here also to say, you know, we Muslims in Ireland, we don't agree with, with what you're saying. It's terrorism, Islamist so terrorism. But how can you say that? Can I just say, can I just please, I, I respect you, then please, if you can show that to me as well. I, yeah, but if you're saying I, I, Islam, I, 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 I need to question what you're saying. Please. You know, this um, I, I mean, I feel the reasons be, behind... Um, I don't know, different issues of war and of murders and of, of different things. It's, it's all to do with the way people believe and the way people are doing different things. And true Islam is peace. True Islam, you have to love each other. It's, it's what Islam, we are taught. For your information, no, just sorry, because as a teacher of Sharia, as a teacher of Islamic law, I should say to you, Islam means submission. It does not mean peace. The Messenger Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he fought something in the region of about 27, 29 battles in his life. And indeed, he did take hostages in his life, and he even executed certain people for the crimes that they committed. Islam is a religion of Hold peace, sister, for those people who want to live in peace. Gentlemen. For yeah. those people who Wait want to occupy Shanghai. our land, Shanghai. and they want to bomb us, then obviously we have the right to defend Shanghai. ourselves. Shanghai. You've just come back from a parliamentary commission about, committee about Turkey. Do you think that Europe has to draw a line in the sand at some stage and say, very simply, if Muslim people want to live here, that's absolutely fine, but our law predominates? Uh, first of all, I don't think Ireland has to apologise uh, to anybody uh, having regard to recent events in, 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 in the Muslim world. Uh, I'm particularly interested in the Turkish application uh, to join the European Union. Turkey is a predominantly Muslim country, and if, if Turkey joins the European Union and the Commission has recommended negotiations to begin in that regard, um, the, the, the Muslim population of the EU will go from 3% up to 14%. Now, I think there's a battle going on within the Muslim community, as we can see here, between the Islamic fundamental and the moderate Muslims. I don't think the Europeans... There's European, a moderate Muslim. Yeah, well, there's a practicing Muslim. Anjum, 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 hold on a second. The thing is, if you want to know about Islam, please talk to the Muslims. You're saying there's we no such thing, thing as a... I think we have, there's we have, no such thing as a moderate Muslim. You see, this is something which has been invented... Leslie's a moderate Muslim. This is something which has been invented by the media to say that there are people who are moderate so that they can call other people extremists and fanatics. Okay, I don't think there's no such thing as a moderate Muslim. Oh, you're not a fanatic. Hold on, whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, I don't see anybody wanting peace with the Muslims. Let me hear you apologize. Let me hear you apologize. So you don't want to apologize to the hundreds of thousands of people killed in the Palestine? Sorry, sir, gentlemen, I have to ask you both. Hold on. Mouth shot for a second. Wally, under their form of government, should be in danger. Now, why would she be in danger? Hold on, hold on. Be because, because they will be munafikun. No, we know all about that. I said that she would be considered munafikun. She would be considered a hypocrite. She would be considered a hypocrite. She would be considered a hypocrite. That's what you're saying. Too many people, too too many people talking. Hold on. There's plenty of time. One at a time, please. One at a time, please. One at a time, please. Can I ask you, please? It's very convenient for you, and I'm very happy for, for Walid that you've decided that he was never a Muslim, because if he had been a Muslim and converted, what would your obligation under Islam be? Our no, obligation, no, no, wait a second, no, you, you see, the, the, the whole point is, if you want to talk about Islam, talk to the Muslims. fact is, if he became Muslim, we'd have an obligation no, no, to teach him, no. we'd have an obligation to teach him. I said if he him. was a Muslim who if converted you, you were, out of Islam into no, Christianity. Second, but the America or England is at risk of being targeted by the Mujahideen. It's a very important point. Are we Ireland, at risk, Ireland, are are we at risk of being targeted? The fact Would is, you think yes. we should be targeted? Yes, Ireland no, no, should be no, targeted. No, no. Well, I'm, I'm not into the sound bites of uh, giving you a yes and no answer. The fact is that the, the, the Irish government are together in an alliance with the United States we of America. The United Nations. Wait a second, I'm answering the we question. Let me, the let me, well, the United Nations, I'm sorry, are, but the United Nations no Security of, Council, uh, not any the United alliance. Nations Security Council are run by the British and the Americans and the French and the Russians and people who are non-Muslim. At the present the time, the present time no, I don't, we, no, no, of course not, because the Constitution okay. is based on... Can I answer the question? Can we, Tom, Tom, I'll just make three brief points. I think I'm in an unusual situation, like Walid, in that I've seen confrontation at first hand here in Ireland, in the Middle East, in Lebanon, and on the border. Okay, Muslims. if I could just say the second point, which is a military point, which is very, very important, because we can get away from all of the philosophy and the, the if you like, uh, 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 claims towards uh, altruism, towards a more utilitarian view. People are characterizing the current conflict uh, 
which is, you know, terrorism is one of its symptoms, as being a religious conflict. It is not a religious conflict. No, People tried to uh, characterize the conflict in Northern Ireland as being a religious conflict. When the provisional IRA and the INLA were engaged in operations similar to uh, groups like Tawhid al-Jihad, uh, etc., they weren't doing it for transubstantiation of the communion host at a virgin birth. They were doing it for the reasons that we see the current rave, wave of unrest, for political reasons. And finally, I would say, we have a big challenge. Turkey is looking for membership of the EU. I would say that Turkey is the West's last chance Texaco. It's our opportunity to allow Muslims to be integrated into our way of life. Look at it from a military point of view. We would have a huge military buffer that okay. takes us into the Caucasus region, down so to the Black Sea. you think Turkey is an opportunity? It's an absolute opportunity. And one last thing, we could achieve that democratic process without firing one single shot. We well, could bring 72 million people into our way of thinking, sharing our philosophy and us respecting them, unlike Iraq, without firing... So Islam is not just a spiritual belief like Christianity or Judaism or Buddhism. Rather, it has a political aspect. It has a ruling system, an economic system, a foreign policy, a social system. In this sense, you see, in this sense, you see, it's a misunderstanding of Islam as a pure spiritual... Explain to me, okay, explain to me one thing, Just explain to me one thing. Do you... As a British Muslim. As a Muslim living in Britain. Why right. are you living in Britain? Why don't you live in a Muslim country? Well, we believe that the whole world is uh, something which Allah. belongs to God at the end of the day. If, if I can answer the question, I, I appreciate that. The whole of the world belongs to God and his Sharia should be implemented over the whole of it. So you the think we Muhammad, should? We the should. message Muhammad said that I have been sent, you see, in order, in order to implement the Sharia upon the earth. And indeed, Allah said in the Quran, He said, I did not send, uh, I sent the messenger Muhammad with the deen of Haq in order to, for it to be prevalent over the whole of the world. Explain to me, explain to me, explain to me. Explain to me. Explain to me. Explain to me. So you believe that Ireland and Britain and France and Germany, etc., etc., will ultimately or should ultimately be governed of by course, Sharia law? Of course, yes, you see. Of course. Yeah, so you're you intolerant see, of me. No, no, no. It's not intolerance. You see, look. The fact is, if you go to the jungle, you don't live according to the law of the jungle. If you come with something superior, which I believe Islam is superior, then you want to shoot them. Okay, okay, okay. What do you do with a pocket? Okay. What do you do? What is your What is your religious duty? As a Muslim, how, how, how does this di dictate that you should deal with an apostate? Well, the, the apostate are many different types and divisions, and depending on the type of apostasy, the judge of the Sharia court will assess his type of apostasy, may so give him, uh, him an opportunity to repent, and obviously if he doesn't repent, it will have certain punishment. But he doesn't repent. Depends. He's no, a Muslim, we're not he now is a Christian, he died talking about him. We've already established that he was always Christian, he's never Muslim in the first place. Sorry, let's I'm talk sorry. about, let's no, talk no, about... No, get the chance to finish. Um, first of all, as being a person that lives in Ireland, being a Muslim that lives in Ireland, and I, I think I'm speaking for the Irish Muslims within Ireland, we, we don't agree 100%. We, we don't agree what, what yourselves are, 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 are talking about, the terrorism, the, the acts of violence. We, we don't agree with what you represent 100%. Yeah, um, we, we represent no, I'm sorry. 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 I really, I, am, I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry. See, this is Manchester, 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 I want, I want to try as much as you can in order to terrorize the enemy. We need to find out there. We can hear each other. I have said that he was never Muslim. It's not for us Muslims to judge anybody. No, we know, sister, no, that, uh, there are many Christians who pretend in Lebanon please finish? and in Palestine that they used to be Muslims see, in order to come out and Islam and Muslims. Oh, you, you said you knew. Well, Islam is not a religion of people. Hold on, wait There's far too many people talking about the There are far too many people talking about Khalid Khalid. Khalid Khalid. I'm, I have to correct, sister, you know, because it's Islamic Sharia law. We don't have our own opinions. All the prophets said we don't have our own opinions. We speak the word coming from God. And Islam is not a religion of peace where women are being raped, Muslims are being killed in the streets. It's a religion of war if you want war. Peace if you want peace. And terrorism, if, you, if that's what you want, then Islam becomes... Islam is a comprehensive belief, not a religion. has an answer for all the problems that mankind faces. I Whether the poverty actually, and starvation... Please, this is really important. Last word. Sir, last really word, And also, the pro um, there, was, uh, there was a hadith that says, it's actually in the Quran, sorry, not hadith. I'm not very educated on this. Work away. Um, if Obviously. you kill one man, it's like killing the whole of mankind. Woman, this, is in the Quran. this is in the Quran, okay? So how killing, regardless to whether they're Muslim, Jewish, yeah. Christian, whatever Perfect. religion. Well, how in Surah Muhammad chapter 4, it says, have neck of the believers have to the Okay, okay. okay. the world's population will usurp this interpretation of Sharia law. Women will usurp Sharia law because it's not Let us, let us, we have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we have to leave it there. We have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Anjan Chandri and